Yes, my people, welcome back to another Liquid Alert. This is breaking news just coming in. Manchester City have been charged by the Premier League with potential breaches of financial fair play spanning a four-year period. This is broken by Sport Bible, courtesy of Martin Ziegler, so thanks to those guys. But this is crazy, my people. What could this mean for the Premier League? What could this mean for Manchester City? I'm thinking about it now. A points deduction, could that be possible? A transfer ban, could that be possible? There are a number of different repercussions that Manchester City might feel as a result of these breaches, but I must say they are yet to be 100% proven. I've got some more information for you good people. We're going to get straight into it. But of course, comment below your reaction to this. This is mental. And what does this mean for some of the other clubs? You look at the money that Chelsea are spending. I know they're structuring their finances in a slightly different way to Manchester City. But you look at the money that a lot of teams are spending in the Premier League and in world football. And you think in a few years time, this could be happening to a number of other clubs as well. But you see it there, the breaking news from Sport Bible. Let's Go to this tweet from Martin Ziegler, because he's the one that broke this. I think he's the one that's been investigating this. He says, Man City charged by Premier League with numerous breaches following a four-year investigation. This is unprecedented. I know the text is quite small, but if I just look down the list for season 09-10, uh, Premier League rules B13, B71, C72, C75. Basically, it goes all the way back to the 09-10 season, all the way up to the 17-18 season, which is pretty mental. This has been going on for nearly 10 years. Nearly 10 years, people. And I'm very surprised that the Premier League are only stepping in now. Why does it take four years to work out if someone's breached financial fair play or not? Manchester City have already, already won a number of titles over the last five, six, seven years. So why are we only now bringing this up? I'm calling out the Premier League for this because they should be quicker. They should be more direct. They should be able to bring sanctions to clubs at the right time and when it's relevant, not five years after the fact. So I'm calling out the Premier League for that. But as I'm not going to go through all the details, but as you can see from Martin Ziegler, he's just showing the number of potential breaches is crazy. I mean, it's a whole bloody, it's a whole bloody paragraph, lads and ladies. <laughs> Uh, but the next tweet from Martin Ziegler, just confirming the potential sanctions. Range of sanctions are possible, including a points deduction if breaches are proved. So what could this mean for the title race? Arsenal fans might just be rubbing their hands together and saying, we might have an easy route for a Premier League title, not just this year, but maybe the next year as well. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. I'm sure Arsenal fans are happy. I'm sure Premier League fans are happy because Manchester City, really and truly Liverpool aside, have had a monopoly over this league over the past few years. And now we might get that monopoly taken away. We might get that monopoly killed dead in the water. Manchester City might not be the club they once were as a result of these investigations and any potential sanctions placed on them. Next tweet, I just wanted to go to a friend, uh, Chelsea fan as well, fellow Chelsea fan from CFC Daily. I'm not a business expert, but seeing them above Man United and Real Madrid in annual revenue was always a red flag. Now look, I'm not going to speculate on this, but it does kind of make sense. I get what he's saying. Manchester United and Real Madrid are absolute behemoths in the world international football scene. They've been known for many years across the world, across all different countries. They have fans. Manchester City, on the other hand, and don't have that same international appeal. They are a very successful club on the pitch, but they don't necessarily appeal to everyone out there because they haven't been around in a successful way as long as clubs like Manchester United, Real Madrid, Barcelona, uh, Liverpool, for example, as well. So that was always a bit of a dodgy one for me. And I kind of agree with what CFC Daily saying here, although it is just speculation. Um, and then just the article from Sport Bible here, I just wanted to scroll down. Um, there isn't a lot of information in the article, so I wanted to just save you guys from clicking. If you do see anything on this topic, the best place to go is to Martin Ziegler's Twitter, where he's given most of the information available. And I'll go back to that tweet now if you guys want to have a look. Um, yeah, there's some of the information from Martin Ziegler. Guys, this is mental. We're going to wrap up the video there, but let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this. I'll give you my thoughts, my unfiltered, honest opinion. I think this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, I'm a Chelsea fan. It's very rich, but if you see some of my other videos, I have said a lot about Chelsea spending and how I disagree with it. 
Manchester City have definitely breached financial fair play at some point in time. We remember when they nearly got banned from Europe and then UEFA overturned it. So I think it's good that we're finally getting justice. We're finally seeing Manchester City upheld to the financial standards that the rest of the league and world football is. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Premier League do the right thing and put big, big financial sanctions on this club. Look, points deduction, I'm neither here nor there about it. I think they should be financially impeded for this, and I think it's about time, and this will set a precedent so that clubs, you know, like Chelsea, like Manchester United, like Newcastle potentially in the future as well, will stop doing the same thing as then. Let's get our league back. Let's get our, let's get our football back to what it once was. No more ridiculous spending, ridiculous money, fiddling with the finances we just want to focus on the football so let me know guys comments below your thoughts and of course like the video if you haven't already subscribe if you're new peace out my people ciao